Now, I think it's safe to say that quarter four of 2024 was by far the worst time for actor George Clooney after all of the backlash that he has been receiving in the past couple of weeks now by the general public, and honestly, rightfully so through valid reasons. We know that George Clooney, for one, has actually been going on this phase of desperation right now to revitalize his career at any cost available. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. So one thing about George Clooney is that we know that he's been getting record-breaking backlash, something that we have never seen before by any actor at this point, and he is trying to use any kind of resource available to diminish that backlash at any level. Now, that just goes to show you exactly how he's beginning to panic since he has been thrown into a corner where many major studios within the Hollywood bubble are beginning to shut him out. They, they don't want anything to do with him anymore. They don't want to offer him any major blockbuster roles to begin with. And that's where it's beginning to crumble at this point. Now, as of late, what's really intriguing here has a lot to do with Clooney and exactly how he's actually trying to fix his career, how he's trying to apologize, essentially, to the general public in the worst way possible, and it's already beginning to backfire through Bill Maher. All right, real time with Bill Maher. This has a lot to do with the fact of how George Clooney was recently shut out from The View and Sonny Hostin and how she wanted nothing to do with him on the show because she believed it would tank ratings. The same exact thing applies here with Bill Maher and exactly why there's now a grudge between both Clooney and Bill Maher. Let's get into this, shall we? Now, specifically, of course, with many actors, directors, writers, for starters, already in a phase of panic after the public pushback has been taking a toll on Hollywood and the entirety of media, one monumental development going on now involves more to do with both Bill Maher and George Clooney in the wake of the constant backlash that Clooney has been going through based on his political commercial that backfired completely on his career, along with his comments. Now, with many in the Hollywood bubble beginning to turn their backs on Clooney, one one substantial update now involves how comedian and talk show host Bill Maher at HBO recently had a falling out with Clooney. It turns out that George had been def desperately trying to make a comeback through the usage of the media to not only, uh, of course, share his side of the story, but to also make a series of apologies on television and to save his career by doing so. Now, Clooney and his team were reportedly and desperately attempting to get on real time with Bill Maher for the next season in 2025 to make a massive comeback on television through HBO. It turns out that Bill and the HBO executives completely shut down George Clooney's desperate move to go on the show to stabilize his career as a last-ditch effort to reach out to Bill to have a conversation with him by dropping new revelations, political revelations, on the show. It turns out that Marr and the entire studio heads at HBO by the demands of Bill wanted nothing to do with Clooney's appearance at all. It turns out that that this was a back and forth squabble that was happening between Clooney, his agent and manager, arguing with the HBO studio heads for rejecting his own voice to be heard on television. Now, this was all Bill Maher's doing, as it turns out, since Maher reportedly believes that Clooney's appearance would not only tank ratings for his show, but also how Bill also now has personal issues with Clooney on multiple fronts. It even got to a point where Clooney was begging and attempting to renegotiate, even after getting shot down by Bill Maher twice, to make a major appearance on one of his episodes for his 2025 schedule. Now, this comes shortly after Clooney was shut out by The View, like I said before, in Sonny Hostin for not wanting to have him on the show either, as George is now officially running out of options to get his message across to the general public as a last-ditch effort to revive his acting career. Now, guys, before I move on, let me just say one thing about all of this. Now, the thing about this is that we know everything related to George Clooney is that he's not going to be getting any of those major blockbuster roles anymore. He's not going to be getting any more uh, roles from these major Hollywood studios. He's now pretty much dealing with limited options. He's only getting a lot of roles through studios that are either smaller scale or low budget and offering those to him. And this, of course, has a lot to do with the fact that a lot of major studios beginning are beginning to realize that the 
the pushback, the backlash is just so large to the point where they just don't want to hire him anymore. But what's interesting about Bill Maher now, and I'm not a supporter of Bill Maher by any means, by the way, guys, I'm not really a fan, but one thing I will say about Bill Maher is that this is the latest example that one after the other, you're beginning to see examples of individuals turning their backs on George Clooney, betraying the actor, wanting nothing to do with the guy anymore because it would actually taint their program, right? And so I think that this is going to continue. Now, we already know that George is desperately trying to go on other programs and other uh, shows out there, such as the Howard Stern Show. We'll talk more about that as well. That's his other last-ditch effort, by the way. And Clooney really is taking this very personally. He's actually reportedly been taking this very personally behind the scenes and is very angered about the HBO studio heads for not allowing him to engage on the show to actually put his voice out there to the world. Now, moving on, all right, Bill reportedly had no issues with bringing Clooney on earlier until the demands were made by his team that the main purpose of his appearance would be to revitalize his status as an actor. This is something that Marr was not happy with out, of course, at all, and informed the producers and executives to call it quits, especially after the third attempt of Clooney and his team begging for a time slot. With both The View and Real Time with Bill Marr now on Clooney's bad side, Clooney is now scrambling for another network to make his apology and to share new truths about his political revelations that he wants to drop on television. Now, like I said, he is now reaching out toward the Howard Stern show to put out those comments. Whether or not Stern accepts that, we'll have to wait and see. Look, I think that at the end of the day here, this is going to continue for the next couple of months where you're going to see uh, a lot of the media, Hollywood, eating each other when the chips are down at this point. There's a lot of blame gaming. There's a lot of scapegoating. I mean, we all saw this coming, right? We all saw this coming six, seven, heck, even maybe even eight months ago where actors, writers, directors, actresses, producers would begin to point the finger at each other and wanting nothing to do with each other anymore. So now it's all about saving yourself, right? Bill Maher is trying to save his show. He doesn't want anybody like George Clooney on there. The View doesn't want anybody like George Clooney on there, to that extent at least, to that large scale. And this just goes to show you that the Hollywood bubble, the media, I don't think it's going to make a comeback. I think that you're going to see more individual programs begin to rise. You're going to see podcasts go through the roof. And I think more people are going to begin to tune into shows like Joe Rogan, for example. And that's something that I think is much appreciated. But overall, I would like to hear what everyone has to say about Bill Maher, George Clooney, the whole grudge going on now between the two and his team. Because you know what? I think it is deserved in the latest example here of George Clooney getting shot down by yet another major Hollywood studio. And HBO, by the way, they really have been tuning a lot of people out as of late in 2024 in since the past like three, four weeks, give or take, right? And it really has been so predictable. We all saw this coming. But I would like to hear what everyone has to say about George Clooney and the entire backlash that's been unraveling for him. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys later. Yeah.